How's it? You well? Grab a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, because it's time for another episode of For Realsies Friday. In our first bit of gaming news, we have exciting developments for the ZA region of Valorant. On August 29th, Riot Games dropped patch 7.04, which makes a good number of additions, changes and updates to the game. The patch introduces a brand new map named Sunset that's supposedly set in the studio's hometown of LA, while also bringing forth a handful of tweaks to an existing map called Breeze that dramatically alters its sightlines. Valorant nerfed a bunch of characters in this latest update, but for the South African region, the most exciting news is that we finally have our own server. The server is based in Cape Town and the whole region is extremely excited for the news. The server came out on the 31st of August and the whole of South Africa has rejoiced. Early Starfield reviews are generally positive, from mild disappointment to glowing praise. Starfield has been shouldering enormous expectations from both longtime fans of Bethesda's open world RPGs and devoted Xbox players desperate for a hit exclusive. Now, initial reactions to the sprawling sci fi shooter are finally here, and the early reviews are mixed. Some critics are championing Starfield as a dream of Skyrim in space many had hoped for, while others are calling it bland and disappointing. How does it measure up to these lofty ambitions? It depends on who you talk to. So far, reviews for the successor to Skyrim and Fallout 4 are mixed. There are plenty of perfect scores, but some more muted reactions as well. The game currently has an 86 on Open Critic and an 89 on Metacritic. It sounds like the game is mostly bug free but also suffers under the vastness of its possibilities. If you bought the $100 version of Starfield, Bethesda's new RPG is now playable on Steam, Xbox and the Microsoft Store. CD Projekt Red casually mentions that after Phantom Liberty, it's done with Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 is only getting one expansion because its old tech is being retired. Cyberpunk 2077 developer CD Projekt Red says its upcoming expansion, Phantom Liberty, will serve as the game's one and only expansion because of its technological decision to move from CDPR's own Red Engine technology to Unreal 5. During a Q&A portion of CD Projekt Red's earnings call, CD Projekt Red's Senior Vice President of Business reiterated the developer's previously stated stance on not making a second expansion of Cyberpunk 2077, regardless of whether or not Phantom Liberty sales do gangbusters, saying the decision had already been made. He continued, As we have announced a long time ago, we're not going to make a second or third Cyberpunk expansion. This is the only expansion of the game and it has nothing to do with the numbers and how satisfied or not we are with sales or anything of the kind. It's a technological decision to be honest. This is the last time we're working on the red engine for the time being at least. And in the foreseeable future, as you know, we are working on the Unreal Engine from Epic. This was one of the key reasons why we decided this was the only cyberpunk expansion. Last year, CDPR announced its multi-year strategic partnership with Epic Games to develop a new Witcher game as well as a remake of the original 2007 Witcher video game, which is being built from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. Phantom Liberty, which will overhaul major gameplay mechanics and flesh out the Cyberpunk 2077 world alongside a free version 2.0 update, will release on September 26th. And that's it for this week's episode of For Reals is Friday. If you haven't eaten yet, don't forget to eat, don't forget to hydrate, and most importantly, don't forget that I love you.